What's going on folks? It's your boy Luke here coming at you in 2019 with a brand new alternate build video. Today we'll be taking a look at an alternate build for set 75177, the first order heavy scout walker. This set came out in late 2017 with the first wave of the last Jedi sets. It originally retailed for 50 US dollars. It comes with 554 pieces and includes four minifigures. My, in my initial thoughts of this set were uh, pretty eh. I didn't think it looked that cool. I thought it was too expensive and wasn't impressed with the builds or the minifigures besides General Hux. After watching a few reviews of the set on YouTube, my suspicions were confirmed. The walking feature was pretty well done, but it didn't really interest me all that much, and it wasn't even in the movie, so it, I didn't have any connection to the set through that way. I had the idea to, to, do, to do this alternate build when I first saw the set, and but I was not about to drop $50 for it, you know? So I waited and waited, and finally a few weeks ago when I was at the Lego store, I saw it on sale for like $32, so I copped that right up. Brought it home, spent a few days working on it, and came up with this. Boom. There we go. All right, we got a lot going on here, folks, but, you know, it's pretty neat. This little uh, crate battle scene. So let's dive right into it. We're going to first take a look at the smaller features here, the first one being this uh, crate spice detector. Yes, it's a detector, not a uh, power generator of sorts, as uh, I have a, a little bit of a pattern of making those with these alternate builds. So, as you know, Crate is a salt planet not covered in snow. Thank you, Gareth Edwards, buddy. Salt. Ground forces incoming. So that's kind of why we ran with this. Next up, I built this little speeder for our boy Armitage Hux to zoom around Crate on. Um, just using some of the pieces I didn't include in the main build. It's not a, too extraordinary, as uh, the speeder is a pretty common thing seen in Lego sets and stuff like that. Um, but I think the gray and simple, the gray color belt and the simple design, I think, make it pretty appealing to the eye. So I like the way it came out, the shaping, all that good stuff. So next up, we have a resistance trench barricade thing for our lone trooper to seek fortitude and defend against the impeding first order. Woo. So I kind of went with a asymmetrical, ununiform kind of look to reflect uh, to reflect like the dilapidated resources and the lack of up-to-date materials that the resistance had on the old abandoned rebel rebel base on crate. Um, so I did try to include the flick the uh, I'm sorry the spring-loaded missiles to uh, kind of provide some support and I. The way you control that is the printed panel piece right there. So, pretty good way to take out enemy forces and stay in cover. And finally, the piece de resistance, the first order heavy tank. So, taking a look at this, um, I kind of took inspiration from the M1 Abrams tank used in the U.S. military. You can see the resemblance. So I used a lot of the Technic pins and bars as the treads to make it, to, you know, provide for all-terrain mobility. And taking a look at the bottom here, you can see I kind of added a function to add these wheels to make them spin and help with mobility that way. So making it easier for the, the tank to zoom around, you know. The main feature here we got, I included, was uh, this rotating cannon. So the main cannon can rotate 360 degrees, find enemies on all sides, and yeah. I also included two uh, smaller anti-personnel guns on the side here to provide additional support and cover for the tank. Unfortunately, uh, the way I designed it and the way the pieces went together, I wasn't really able to build it so that you could put somebody inside of there but uh, you know you could pretend somebody's in there or else it's just a drone however you want to look at it like that so got some additional support and shielding on the side and at the back you know I think pretty cool I'm I'm I'm, I'm quite content with how it worked out 
All right, so overall, I'm very pleased with how this entire build turned out. It took me quite a while, um, a lot of trial and er error, and I was able to use a majority of the pieces. Um, this is all really what's left over in this little baggie, so a lot of Technic pins, um, all sorts of pins, not, not really a whole lot of plates and studded pieces because that's just so many pieces came with the set to make that walking feature in the actual build, so... Um, when I saw the set and I knew I wanted to do an alternate build, I, I, I had my mind set on doing a more terrestrial, human-like looking tank, so that's kind of why I went with this, as you could see the resemblance to what I showed you earlier. And um, after kind of finishing this up, I used the remainder of the pieces to construct the speeder, the resistance barricade, and uh, I wanted to make use of these red 2x4 bricks the trans red and I didn't really know how to put that in the tank or anything like that so I kind of made that spice detector as the the last kind of feature there and uh, that just about does it so I hope you can appreciate what I'm doing here and uh, enjoyed my video presentation for you and you should tune in for more interesting stuff just like this spread the good word of RM All Star 100 We'll see you next time. Peace.